My brothers and sisters in Christ, I'd like to begin this midweek update by wishing a very happy Veterans Day to all of our veterans of the armed forces, for all of those who have spent their time, their sweat, their tears, and many of whom bear wounds either external or internal uh, from their time of service. Uh, we're very grateful, I am very grateful uh, to each of you for your service to our nation, for uh, not only standing for justice, but protecting the freedoms that we hold so dear. As we continue to unpack the aftermath of, of this election, uh, we, we get into to all the headaches of, of procedures and constitutional law and the, the need to protect the, the sanctity of e each vote and all these things which can quickly become you know, political taglines. But at the heart uh, of these concepts, we're reminded that while our country and our system of government is imperfect uh, and very complex, that ultimately we are, are deeply uh, indebted to uh, our, our constitution, our, our way of government and protecting the freedoms that we hold so bare and in a special way our veterans who have given so much of themselves and their families to upholding our way of life in the United States. So thank you veterans. In turn, that puts a great obligation on the rest of us who in a sense live under a the blanket of freedom uh, in our country, that ultimately our biggest blanket of freedom is, is that of our faith, uh, the gospel, that the, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ has given us, freedom from sin, freedom from the reign of death, and the freedom of the children of God. Therefore, my bulletin letter this week deals with, the, in a sense, the aftermath of an election, even as everyone works out the particular details a reminder that even though we talk about faithful citizenship every four years and, and gearing up to vote in an election, that faithful citizenship is so much more than just the casting of a vote every two years, every four years, each election day. But it's about the way of life, the influence that we have not only in our explicitly political action, but in our own witness to the gospel in our lives, in our families, our social circles, in our workplaces. And so I invite you to read my bulletin letter for more on that this week. Uh, but for today, I, I merely wished to, to thank our veterans, to, to plug this, this update on faithful citizenship in the bulletin letter, and to remind everyone of a couple of Thanksgiving opportunities coming up. Uh, if you go to our, uh, our website at sacredhearthouston.org and go to the Rector's Corner, you can find a couple of blurbs. Uh, one about the fact that our Knights of Columbus uh, are continuing to sell turkeys, that you can make your, place your order in advance. Again, you can find more details about that online, as well as our ongoing Thanksgiving drive, the opportunities to give for families less fortunate uh, than us. And so please visit the Rector's Corner on our website to see these activities that are going on for the Thanksgiving season. Additionally, I continue to encourage everyone to subscribe to uh, our YouTube channel as a parish, uh, as well as to, to follow us on social media, not only for things like the daily reflections and, and content going out that way, but also as we continue to find for new opportunities to, to spread the word on what's happening at the parish. Many of you recently have asked about homilies being posted. We've started, instead of doing audio posting, starting to take video from our live stream each Sunday. These are now being uploaded to the YouTube page, and we hope soon to have them linked directly to the website itself. So for those looking to, to go back and, and watch homilies that were given at the 11 o'clock Mass each Sunday, look forward to that opportunity, help uh, drive our viewership and spread the word to subscribe in that way, especially for all those who are still at home and unable to make it to Mass right now. So that is it for this week's update. Uh, again, I hope this message finds all of you safe and healthy. Uh, please pray and thank a veteran today. And please continue to pray for our country, for our healing and the healing that always begins with us. O sacred heart of Jesus, we place all our trust in you.